Now, if something does happen and your clay does dry out, it's going to become really fragile. Like I made this little container and it broke. Oh no. I let it sit out for two days. I was bad. I didn't put it in anything. I still have some of those pieces. We can still fix this. It is not completely horrible at this point. We can fix this. Have a couple ways to do that. First and foremost would be taking a little bit of water and just dipping your fingers on it and putting it on the broken parts of the clay. We want that water to absorb into the clay. So I put some water on it. Then I'm going to take a damp towel. I happen to have the same one here. And I'm going to wrap it around that area that I need it to get wet again. Again, make sure this is nice and wet. You could put it in a bag, let it sit for maybe a half hour, maybe an hour. See how that clay is. Come back to it. It's all about trial and error. It depends on how dry your clay was to start with. But this water will absorb into the clay and make it soft again. We have some other options. Next up would be slip. Now slip is our glue. So slip is just some very, very wet clay. When you open it up, it might be kind of chunky like this. I'd recommend take a tool, take your fingers, try to mush it up. We want it to be mud. It's our glue. It's okay if it's a little chunky though. Okay, we want it to be very, very muddy. Mine hasn't been sitting for that long. I just made it, so it's not the best yet, but yours will be. So this glue can help us out. Let's say we've taken the time. This little bit of clay has been rehydrated. I wouldn't want to do it right now because it's still quite dry. But I'm trying to show you the point here. We can reattach these pieces. If you can figure out where they go, they can be reattached. The challenge is just figuring out where the piece goes. Hmm. Where does it go? You know, I'm not sure how this piece fit. That's okay. I have another piece here. I know for a fact this piece fit right there. So if these pieces were a little bit wetter, wet enough that I could bend and move them, which they're starting to, I can actually glue the pieces back together. We're going to use the slip and score method. So scoring is when you take your toothpick and you scratch the surface. We want it to be really rough. So I'm going to scratch up the surface a bit. Again, this clay is a little too dry. I need it to sit for longer. I'm trying to show you how it works. Scratch up the surface you're putting it on and the thing you're attaching. Scratch, scratch, scratch. We want it to be really bumpy. Those little bits come up, good, keep them there. We want it to be really, really rough. Then we're gonna take our slip, so our little glue, and we want to put the glue on the piece that we scratched up. So it's the slip on the score. Okay, you might want to use your fingers. Again, mine's still really lumpy, but you want to get lots of that slip, that glue, onto both surfaces. Then press your piece into place, and you want it to sit. So let that glue kind of help rehydrate the area around it. That really wet clay rehydrates the clay around it. And it helps them attach, and you see how I'm starting to get those pieces back. But uh wonder if I can figure this out yet. No, that's going to bug me. I'm going to figure out how these fit together. Anyways, you can see how I can reattach this. Now, where that crack was is going to be a weak point. So I'm going to have to be careful with this area. Once it's rehydrated a bit, I'm just showing where that crack was. Once it's rehydrated, wetter, I would want to make sure that I come back and I smooth along the surface. I maybe even take some more wet clay and put it on the inside and outside, like a little band-aid to help hold it in place. But you can fix things when they break or get too dry. 